And then we've realized that the sound waves can break down dyes and other molecules. So it daunted on me that we can also use it to release hydrogen from the water. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 555 series. Today, I'm with Professor Amgad Rezek with the School of Engineering at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia. Amgad, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we'd love to hear more about your research and your breakthrough discovery. So our discovery is in the field of hydrogen and more precisely in the field of green hydrogen, which is electrolysis. And the electrolysis is basically um, when we use electrical energy to break water and produce hydrogen. More precisely, what we've done is we used high frequency sound waves in the range of megahertz. So that's way above the audible range that we're familiar with, which is the hertz and kilohertz, to boost the hydrogen production by uh, 14 times. So how did your team come up with this idea of using sound waves to produce hydrogen? We've been working with these sound waves to manipulate fluids for the last 10 years. And we've done, we've explored lots of applications, including making nanomaterials and including um, nebulization for direct delivery. And then we've realized that the sound waves can break down dyes and other molecules. So it daunted on me that we can also use it to release hydrogen from the water. What is the next step in your research and what are your plans to scale up the work? So our chip is a small scale chip centimeter scale, but it, we can run multiple of these devices uh, in parallel. In fact, this chip that we use with our, our research, is, it's already been used in telecommunications. There is about five of these chips in anyone's mobile phone. So it's very um, well-established technology has been mass produced already. So the costs will not be an issue. And we're planning to incorporate as many of these chips into current available electrolyzers on the market. So at this stage, we're still early on. It's a research phase and discovery phase. And although we are experts in using sound waves to manipulate fluids and, uh, and, and all the physics uh, behind it, we're not experts in the electrolysis uh, area. So what we're trying to do at the moment is to collaborate with industries that have been working in electrolyzers and do all the engineering of it and find ways to incorporate our acoustic device, which is a small chip, and insert it into their electrolyzer so we can boost their technology. And at the moment, we have been talking with a um, few companies and we're trying to see the best way to engineer our sound waves with their electrolyzer. Yes, and green energy is so important with the entire world targeting to reach net zero. So how will this research impact future studies? I believe our research is, is a good step in the right direction because it produces an innovative approach. So a lot of work, as I mentioned, works into coming up with new materials or combination of materials to boost the hydrogen product. But I think there's a lot to explore in coming up with new fluids or electrolytes and ways of changing the state of the electrolyte to boost the hydrogen. Because with, with the materials we currently have, platinum and iridium, they're too expensive and there is very limit, a limited enhancement. So we are in need for breakthroughs and, and different ways to approach this problem. Why is hydrogen so important right now and why should people be paying attention? It is very important from the perspective of being green energy. But it also is three times more dense than, let's say, petrol. So for if you take an example for a car, one kilogram of hydrogen will take the car three times further than petrol or gasoline. And from that perspective, it's also very fast to charge. So if someone uh, drives uh, with hydrogen, they can charge the car faster. It will take a few minutes to charge compared to electric vehicles even, and it will drive for longer distances. So it's a great way to do it. What also helps to tip it is a lot of changes in policies and tax incentive from governments, which is pushing uh, in this direction the research. Of course, that varies from country to country, but overall it has been uh, a great time to keep innovations in that field. Thank you, Amgad. It was wonderful chatting with you today and hearing about your breakthrough research. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. 
You can like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We'll see you next time.